Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. Rod has the night off. The Omaha man who caused the deadly Memorial Day weekend crash on O Street last year has been sentenced. Channel 8's Matthew Mitleider was in the courtroom today and joins us with the details. Matthew? On Memorial Day weekend last year, Kybell Stark was driving down O Street while under the influence of marijuana. Stark reached nearly 90 miles per hour just before crashing into another vehicle, sending both cars into a crowd of people. Two women, 20-year-old Emily Sibonor and 22-year-old Edith Ermacio, were killed. 20 other people were injured and sent to the hospital. In September, Stark pleaded guilty to manslaughter and DUI causing serious bodily injury. And on Thursday, a judge sentenced him to at least 21 years in prison. Stark's license will also be revoked for 15 years. And you just, it just turned your car into a weapon and ended two young lives two young people who had certainly decades ahead of them. There are no words really to express the, the loss and the tragedy for everyone here. Stark's lawyer, Mike Bianchi, says that Stark came from a broken home and that he's not an evil man, just young and inexperienced. It's just a sad deal all the way around. This was a lose-lose situation for everybody. My client had no other history whatsoever with the criminal justice system. Granted, he's only 18 at the time, but he was uh, uh, a good young man who just decided to do what some typical 18-year-olds do, and I know because I've got him on my own. At the sentencing, Stark expressed remorse for his actions. I would just like to say that I was wrong on the decision that I chose to make at the time. Statements from the victim's families were also read during the sentencing. The prosecutor said the deaths, along with the mental and physical injuries that followed, were 100% avoidable. Kyvel Stark took the lives of two young, vibrant, beautiful souls that night. He may have remorse now, but he was not thinking about any, anyone but himself when he chose to recklessly drive in an impaired condition. There's no sentence that can ever compare to never getting to see Edith and Emily again. They are gone forever. And Stark will be eligible for parole in 10 and a half years because of Nebraska's good time law. Matthew, thank you very much for our top story tonight.